coronavirus, the pandemic has spread across the globe. It's a well-known fact. And it's also true to say that it has involved most of the adult population and also the old population. But what we don't know until this day is that does it affect the children? So if you say, then this is indeed affecting the children. So here I'm going to talk on the children death and the morbidity reported as a result of COVID-19. So here I am Dinesh Rao from the Forensic Investigation News and Analysis from Bangalore, India. So as we started getting the reports from across the world wherein the children are getting affected, so I, I decided so it's high time I just pass on these reports to the people so that it will be an alert sign or maybe a warning sign at the same time the information reaches to the government authorities. So we have been getting cases where due to uh, children's getting infected and children's dead as a result of COVID-19. So more such cases have been reported from Brazil, Singapore, Taiwan and of course if the deaths are been reported and you'll be to understand this particular statistics let me find out what are the actual reports coming from across the globe and uh, another most important thing is that in the brazil nearly around 2200 uh, children are being uh, dead uh, in a, a year in the pandemic deaths in brazil are now at their peak but despite the overwhelming evidence that COVID-19 rarely kills young children, in Brazil, 1,300 babies have died from the virus. So this is what uh, I would like to highlight uh, the uh, alert level, which we need to uh, uh, consider in India is concerned. One doctor refused to test Jessica Ricardes, one year old son for COVID, saying his symptoms did not fit the profile of the virus. So this is most uh, alarming, which definitely the health authorities in the country cannot ignore. Two months later, he died of complications from the disease. So now it has been very clear that there is a virus and that is not uh, uh, fitting into the COVID signs and symptoms. But uh, well, after a period, over a period of few weeks, that the children are dying. The syndrome which affects children up to six weeks after they are infected with coronavirus is rare. So this is what is the major finding which I would like to highlight. But leading epidemiologist Dr. Fatima Marinoha from the University of Sao Paulo says that during the pandemic, she is seeing more such cases of multiple inflammatory syndrome than ever before, although it doesn't account for all deaths. So another most important finding is most children affected by COVID have comorbidities. Existing conditions such as diabetes or cardiovascular disease are, are overweight, according to Lohana Tavari, a pediatric infectologist at Albert Sabin Children's Hospital. So another more important thing I would like to highlight is between February 2020 and 15 March 2021, COVID-19 killed at least 852 of Brazil's children up to the age of nine including 518 babies under one year according to figures from the brazilian minister of health but dr marinova estimated that more than twice this number of children died of covid a serious problem of under reporting due to lack of covid testing in bringing the number down she says during the pandemic and found that there were 10 times more deaths by unexplained respiratory syndrome than in previous year by adding this number, she estimates that the virus in fact killed 2,060 children under 9 year old, including 1,302 babies. So the recent study published in The Lancet suggests that multisystem inflammatory syndrome in children is newly identified and serious health condition associated with COVID. So this finding from The Lancet, it clearly demonstrates that the children with COVID-19 are likely to die due to a multi-system inflammatory syndrome. So well, let's see with others uh, part of the world. So Singapore, Singapore is supposed to be the safest place when COVID is concerned. What we see is they see a sudden spike in the cases. So we see your cases of nearly around some 38 cases in this weekend. Last weekend we saw uh, 38 cases were reported and due to which the government has hardened shutting down the schools and establishments from 
tomorrow onwards and out of which four children were affected and those children were infected with an indian variant strain which has been identified from india that is b1617 strain similarly in taiwan also raises uh, alert level after sudden surge in covid cases where even the surge in uh, covid cases apart from the children were also getting affected so now it is very clear that the cases have been reported in singapore we have seen the cases reported in taiwan there is we have seen the lot of deaths been reported in brazil now the question arises is so now what we need to do so it has been now clear based on all this reports that covid 19 is affecting the children now it is confirmed now since the reports coming from across the world it is clearly confirming the infections to the children leading to mortality and also morbidity so it is high time that we as an indians had to take precautions so that is the reason i am submitting this report in front of you so now the question arises is what precautions we need to take the first and the best precautions is staying means taking care that the children are staying indoors so keeping the children indoors is the first and the basic duty of every citizen of the country and of course the rest of the duties the country will take care of like the government has to establish now a task force to deal with the children infections beside this the government has to prepare now for the pandemic involving the children by designating a pediatric hospitals or pediatric beds across the country and for which they had to identify those beds or increase the number of beds at all the centers across the country and the most important uh, uh, thing is the third most important thing is the government has to make all arrangements pertaining to the medications and facilities required to deal with this crisis which is likely to be in the near future and the fourth important thing is educating the public pertaining to the sanitation and infection to the children and the type of the signs and symptoms early diagnosis and the treatment modalities so that need to be derived at the same time been uh, informed to the countrymen across the all the states yens we based on all this uh, reports it is now clear that india the threat to the children's are a real ones so before the disaster invading happens it is indeed is wise on our part to prepare for it and also to deal with it thank you